In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this animation using Element 3D within After Effects, which is fairly simple and looks amazing. All we're gonna need is a 3D model like this one, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this kit. If you wanna find similar ones, all you have to do is search for something with a kit bash and similar elements to this one. So once you've got your model, go ahead and import it into Element. All I did here was import it and add two materials here, which is from the presets, and I hit OK. So let me show you how easy and quick it is to set this up. Let's go into group 1, and on the replicator, let's change the shape from point to ring. Let's change the count to 20, and rotate it 90 degrees. Now if we go to particle look here, and play around with these rotation settings besides the random one, you can see we're already getting some nice interesting animations here, and all you have to do is set keyframes for these rotations. So let's go ahead and set some keyframes here, move forward, and let's add a few. Okay, so just using these three settings here, look at the animation we've got. It's pretty crazy, and you can really be creative with this and use this however you want to. This can be similar to the camera effect if you want to reveal something, like a countdown or a text here, or just like a tunnel. And all you have to do is play with these three settings. Now this is also very simply adjustable. So if we go back into our scene setup here, and let's say we want to replace this model, let's import the second one from the same kit here. I'm going to scale this up and I'm going to hide this one. And as you can see, it simply replaced it and we've got the same animation, but with a different model. Although this one doesn't look as great, not because of the materials, but because of the model, but we can adjust it as well. Now, the way I did the intro to this video is I simply put some keyframes on my camera here. So let's say starting here and here it's going to come out of it. And about here it's going to be stable. And here we're just going to zoom back in. Go to the graph, make a few adjustments here. And just like that, we created this with just a few minutes and it looks incredible. So this was just a quick tutorial on how you can create this type of effect. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.